Hello, everyone. This is your trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Dynasty War A Extreme Legend as we continue with the Shu Extreme Legend stages. So we're doing this from the beginning. Defeat Lu Bu. Obviously, these are hypothetic conditions where Liu Bei is teaming up with Sun Ce to recapture Xia Pi instead of with Cao Cao. So it's Sun Ce's forces combined with Liu Bei's forces to attack Lu Bu here as he make his last stand. And this is a stage where we can pick up the six star weapon for Liu Bei and Guan Yu, but we're going to be doing it for Guan Yu as he's just more fun to play with. So the setup is the same. Liu Bei takes control of the Shu province following Tao Tian's death. Liu Bu joins and betrays him. But instead of running off to Cao Cao and allying with Cao Cao to defeat Liu Bu, Liu Bei is joining forces with Sun Ce, which is quite odd. Basically, they're speeding up the timeline of Sun Ce leaving Yuan Shu's side. It is very hard to see someone who claims to have royal bloodlines to go south and join forces with Sun Ce, who is this upstart that doesn't even come from a well-known clan. But here we are. So, as we mentioned, we'll be playing as Guan Yu. Now, this stage is designed to be very low level. As you can see, the default level is 20. Well, Zhang Fei we played with, so he's leveled up, but default level is like around 20. Guan Yu, we leveled up to 30. I don't think it needs to be any higher. We could do this on level 25 if we want to, but, you know, I just did a practice run and we ended up at 30. We have just standard four star weapons, nothing too fancy. And we have the same setup with damage and victory cry on top of that. And that should do it. Our EX attack is just a basic charge, which actually gives us the attack boost, which is very useful. Also breaks guard. And then the five hit combo, which we probably wouldn't use that much because Guan Yu's attack is a little bit slow. So five hit to the combo might be a little bit too long. Anyhow, it shouldn't be too hard. We'll talk about the conditions as we hop into game. The blade and service of honor shall always prevail. Now the idea here is we're assaulting Sapi, and it's defended with these three outer forts. Our first objective is to go out and take the three outer forts, which is defended by Ying Li, Wang Kai, and who's the first one? Once we defeat these, catapults will arrive on our side, and we have to defend those to crack the wall. And they will send out generals who are currently on the wall to jump down to try to stop the catapults. We need to defeat those and protect the catapults, and this will make Lu Bu mad. And he will actually charge out. We have a chance to kill him. He's not as busted as he is at Hulao Gate, so this shouldn't be very hard. But because he charges out, the gates are open, and that's our cue. We have to then kill Zhang Liao and Lu Lingqi, all within the first 9 minutes of this battle, and the weapon will appear. So there's a lot of steps, but it's not very hard, as all the health and damage of the opponents are pretty easy despite it being hard difficulty, just because this stage is designed for a, a much lower level attempt. So even level 30, we should do this with relative ease. So first we're gonna crush the unit commander. Let's use our regular charge to double our attack. And then we're gonna keep doing it to try to break guard. Walk behind him, just slash him. That's our five hit combo. Very strong, uh, but it is quite slow. Alright. We're gonna ignore Gongshun here and go for the first stronghold, which is Zamba. Now our allies might die here, so it is what it is. 
Open up. There we go. Ten bots up ahead. We always start with the attack plus. Circle behind him. That's our four hit. Knocks him into the air. That's five hit. Oh, that second swipe is what most of the damage is loaded on. Shame that we lost that. There we go. See, that second slash kills. We're gonna go to the next fort. The capturing of the garrisons is proceeding nicely. Now to prepare the catapults. We're just gonna regular Musu him. Quickly capture the remaining garrisons. And then slash him to death. Ah, he got knocked out. This should kill him. One more to go. We'll ignore the unit commander for now. We have to come back and defend the catapults anyway, so... This is fine. Oh, they already have the catapults out? No. Wait, do they? Oh, they do. Oh, uh, rats. I might have to kill some of these guys around this, or else the catapult gets destroyed. Alright, we'll stop by. We'll do a weapon swap, Musu. Which is a pretty big swipe. And that damage. Let's do a two-hit combo, which is a pretty good crowd clear. There we go. Alright, we should keep it safe for now. Let's continue. We don't need to keep all three catapults up, but it's nice that we do, for morale's sake. Just so that we don't have to babysit our allies. Open up, please. Now, technically, Ying Li and Zan Ba didn't directly work for Li Wu, but it's okay. Ying Li worked for Zan Ba. That's basically the story. And then he goes on to work for Cao Cao. Alright, so we got our catapults out on the field. We're gonna wait out here in the open for them to come attack it. Right there. They're gonna jump right here. And we're ready for them. Let's double our attack as we wait. Come on. Hop down. Is he not jumping? Is it because I'm... Hmm, Lubu's coming out. I need to go take care of him. That's weird. Wei Xu always jumps there. Oh, he's jumping now. Look at him. And then there's another general jumping here. Zhang Nao's son, who's probably a baby at this point. If I don't even think he's born at this point. But it's okay. We'll murder the unborn kid. I'm gonna save the Musu for Li Bu, obviously. Uh, we keep missing the second part of the swipe. It's okay, he's dead anyways. Alright, let's go kill Li Bu. Killing him now doesn't take him off the battle. He just goes back and becomes the final boss, so we can kill him twice. We'll see. Okay. I guess. Oh. Never mind. Ubu hasn't showed up yet. Then we abandoned that first catapult location a little bit too early. Yeah. Well, we kept at least one of them safe. I think after we kill him, maybe we do have to kill Wei Xu. We have to right back. This is wasting our time. Our nine minute countdown is in danger. We weren't clever enough to overcome this threat. Those uh, mobile unit commanders, mobile captains. This is uh, Li Bu's historical brother-in-law, but will actually betray him. So now Li Bu comes out. They're just kiting me left and right. Alright, this should kill him. 
I, I missed that on purpose just so that we don't have to knock him back even farther. Let's go, 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 kill the bull. Oh, he's going straight for Nobei or Sun Quan, whoever that is. It's one of them. We have... Oh, only three minutes. Let's go. Maybe we don't have to kill Liu Bu. We go for Zhang Dao directly, and we come back for Liu Bu later. Chance of him killing Sun Quan? Actually, pretty high. Let's let's kill him quickly. Alright, I'm gonna try to kill him quick. Let me double attack. Is he Mu Swing? Did I just get killed? Oh, he almost killed me. Because we're in the middle of the animation. I think this will just kill you. Oh no. We got him. He's much weaker than Hulao Gate, we will. Alright, let's go in. We gotta hurry up. John L and Lu Ding is waiting. John L's right here. We do not have a weapon advantage against him. So I think we're just going to rage. Okay, so that was quick and easy. And now we have to go down and kill Duding Tsi, who is actually in a little area down here, I believe. We have 1 minute and 14 seconds. Go, 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 go. She is down here in this gate. Open up, open up. There we go, there we go. We don't have any Musu or Rage, but we have double attack here. We got her. Okay, we did it. So I believe the treasure should show up very soon. I think it's in the big plaza in front of Yubul. Maybe I missed the message already. I'll check again. But I think I know where it is. Now the interesting part is Yuan Shu is actually going to show up to save Yubul here very soon. And I don't really want to go out and come back in, waste time, killing all the- Oh, Chengguan's one of the commanders for this battle. Sun Quan has flood. Wait, Sun Quan is not one of the leaders? That's good news. I thought we lost if Sun Quan died. Oh, because it's Sun Ce. That's right, the more useful brother. Who's doing this? There we go. Alright, we're gonna go kill Ribu again and end this madness, but first I think the weapon's on the main plaza here. Let's see if we can find it. Right there. John Fei's down too. Or oh, he's going down. Ooh, is the main gate not opening for us? Wait, Ribu's not opening the door. That means we need to kill more of their generals. Let's go back and help our friends. Where's the enemy general? Right here. Yuan Shu. Zhang Xuan. Oh, it's all Yuan Shu's generals. got the counter, which means I got the rage bar, but I think I'm gonna save that for the bull. We don't need it, I'm inside. 
Alright, I think... I think we should be able to attack people now. I don't have time for... Yep, I see him. I don't have time for everyone else. Our allies are getting wrecked. So until don't die, so until don't die. Okay, that's him. That's that's it. That's the last draw. We need people to die. Preferably, we musu him once first, and then we rage. So let's get that musu stack first. Double our attack. There we go. Let's do a weapon swap musu. Big damage. Big damage. Not that big. Rage attack. Let's go. Them juggle. Can't see him, but I think I still have him. Oh, we're not getting him. Nobody is also in trouble. Oh, we got the swap. Is he moosering? Or no, he just he is moosering. Yeah, I heard some sound. Oh, I see a double attack. I need a storm rage. Come on, we have the weapon advantage. Give it to me. Double attack, double attack. Die. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it wasn't so bad for ourselves, but for our allies, definitely still a little bit of a struggle. What did Wu do here? We clearly did all the heavy lifting. Alright, I think we all know what the weapon is, but it's still nice to see it. Heavenly Dragon. I guess the name is a little bit different. But definitely a great weapon. Alrighty, so that's going to do it for Guan Yu's stage here. We'll continue next time. As we move on with the roster, it's going to be Zhang Fei's time to shine. We'll move through the five Tiger Warriors for the first couple episodes. And then it'll get pretty interesting, as I think they'll feature some of the later era characters. So until then, bye!